file Christina Caramo speaks to Michigan Republican Party delegates on February 18, 2023 in Lansing, Michigan. Michigan Republicans plan to meet on Saturday, January 6, 2024, to discuss the impeachment of Michigan GOP Chair Christina Caramo. Commerce Township, Mich. Republicans in Michigan voted to impeach election denier and state GOP chair Christina Caramo at a meeting Saturday after many of the party's leaders called for Caramo's resignation after a year of leadership plagued by debt and infighting. District 2 State Committee member Bree Mogenberg said about 89 of those present voted to oust Caramo. Approximately 45 people, excluding deputies attended the meeting. Karamo did not attend meeting and made it clear that he would not recognize the vote if it was abolished. Claiming that meeting was unofficial and illegally organized, the resulting situation could set stage for a court fight to determine control of the top position. Within Michigan GOP, it was voted on by the state committee. State committee member Bethany Wheeler told reporters. Now they've basically fired the CEO. But the truth is that he was dismissed by the state committee and now they are in charge. Current co-chair Melinda Pego will serve as acting chair until another presidential election is held. Wheeler said, the internal discord comes as Michigan Republicans try to rebound from historic losses in the 2022 midterm elections. The party aims to replace vacant U.S. Senate seat this year while also helping the Republican presidential candidate win battleground state. Michigan is among several swing states where parties left behind by ferrite leadership are struggling to overcome infighting and money problems. She was eventually endorsed by former President Donald Trump in the 2022 race for Secretary of State and still refused to concede losing by 14 percentage points. State committee member Darlene Dotzel voted in favor of Karamo and was outraged by Saturday's vote and outcome. All they want to do is fight and create chaos. Dotzel told reporters. Chairman Karamo was taking the Republican Party in a positive direction. He was trying to reach out to all people in Michigan. Regardless of your political status, everything is white there. Dotzel said of members who voted Saturday, let's make no mistake about it. There's a black woman in power, a Christian, and they don't want that. Dotzel is white. About a dozen Karamo supporters gathered Saturday afternoon outside the small indoor gun range building in Commerce Township where the meeting was held. Barry Doherty of Brandon Township, the state GOP committee member on policy said security would not allow him into the meeting. Before vote, Doherty said the meeting was not an officially called meeting of state Republican Party and any action taken would not be official. We're here let people know that. As other state committee members know, there will be a formal meeting next week to conduct business and they